Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on the Pirates franchise mode, and we had a little technical setback. I was going ahead and getting the videos all ready to go up and whatnot, and what happened is actually the um, my PS4 turned off on me, and it didn't get a chance to save, so the last save it has is the full game we played, but I made sure and get these two games to end with a one win and one loss. We had this game, which I'll go over real quick. Um, it was a 6-1 win for the Pirates. Uh, it was it led off with a, uh, I believe, it was a McCutcheon triple to lead off the second, and then he was brought home by, I think he was brought home by Polanco. I don't think he was brought home by Thames. I think he was brought home by Polanco. Uh, then we had a two-run a two shot from Marte in the third. Um a, a solo homer for Thames in the fourth, uh, and a solo homer for Freeze in the ninth. Uh, the Red Sox got their only run on a Pablo Sandoval homer in the bottom of the fifth off of Julio Tehran. Tehran got the win, went seven and a third innings, gave up five hits, one earned run, and struck out 11. Batances, Baraclaw, and Ozuna all pitched in the game. Batances got, uh, Tehran gave up a single in the, or in the bottom of the seventh. Or in the bottom of the eighth, he gave up a single after striking out, uh, and that pulled him. Batances got a grounded double play. Uh, Barraclaw came in and struck out two, and then Ozuna cleaned it up with a final strikeout to actually strike out the side in the ninth. It's kind of a team strike out the side. Uh, David Price went five innings, gave up four earned runs. Rodriguez went four innings in relief, gave up two earned runs, and struck out three. David Price actually didn't strike out anyone which was kind of surprising. Uh, so Pro Teheran got the win, and Price got the loss. Uh, in the third game of the series now, the uh, Red Sox pitched Rick Porcello against Joe Ross, and Joe Ross did not have a very good game. Got pulled early. This I actually played the first game. I manually played it to make sure that we could win. And then the second game, I just simulated it until it lost. And so Joe Ross did not pitch a good game, uh, losing 9-3. Uh, the only runs for the Pirates, the Mar Marte and Thames hit doubles. Uh, Marte hit a double off the monster, I believe, um, when I was watching the simulation go by. I didn't really, like, I watched the quick manage thing, but I didn't really quick manage anything. Marte doubled off the wall, I believe, and Thames hit a ground rule double. Uh, then RBIs by Bogertz, Thames, and Polanco got the three runs for the Pirates in the top of the fourth to actually take the lead 3-1. After Boston got a solo shot from Mitch Moreland in the bottom of the second. Uh, but the the Red Sox answered back at the bottom of the fourth with a couple of RBIs to keep, make it 3-3. Joe Ross gave up a, um, a single and then a run, I believe, in the bottom of the sixth. Um, he gave up, I think he gave up a hit and then a sack fly from Sandoval. I think that's what happened. And then in the bottom of the seventh, Hanley Ramirez hit a three-run homer. Um, uh, Joe Ross got pulled before the three-run homer. He gave up, I believe, one run. Of, no, he did not get credited with the run. Um, it all went to Wade LeBlanc, who replaced Joe Ross. And LeBlanc gave up five earned runs, walked two guys. He walked a run in, gave up six hits, and then Juan Nicasio came in to clean it up. Uh, he gave up one of Wade LeBlanc's runs, but, um... Nicasio still pitched decently. Uh, Porcello got the win. Robbie Ross got the save. Uh, Robbie Ross pitched three innings in relief. And so now we can finally move on to the Atlanta Braves series. So first we got the quick manage of Shoei Atani versus R.A. Dickey. So uh, let's see here. I'll proceed. Okay. Oops. We want... We want to quick manage this game. So opening... Oh, I should probably play this because it's opening day. It's first home game. Yeah, I want to play with Jose Urania, so we're going to not play the opening day game. So Shoei Itani versus R.A. Dickey. So Shoei Itani up on the mound first, and he's going to get a fly out. Brandon Phillips up, and Phillips is going to pop out. Freddie Freeman is going to get a walk, which I'm fine with, and then Matt Kemp is going to pop out. So R.A. Right, Dickey versus Starling Marte. Marte's going to single to lead off the game. I'm going to steal second base with him. Bogart strikes out. 
Bet singles, first and third, no out, or one out. Tames strikes out. I'm going to steal second. Oh, Bet's caught stealing. Show you Tani versus Marcakis. Kakis uh, grounds out. Adonis Garcia strikes out, and Cervelli pops out. Cutcha up, he grounds out. Polanco walks a fly out. I'm going to try to steal. I'm going to be more, like, steal happy in this quick manage. Uh, Atani versus Swanson. Swanson's going to single. A sack bunt moves Swanson to second. Inciarte sack bunts him to third. And a ground out ends the inning. Joey Atani walks from Ari Dickey. Very interesting. Chris Stewart strikes out. Marte strikes out. And Bogart strikes out for Dickey to strike out the side after walking the pitcher. Freeman grounds out. Kemp grounds out. Marcakis walks. Garcia strikes out, and Joey Yatani strikes out the side. Mookie bets up. He's going to fly out. Thames grounds out. McCutcheon grounds out. Cervelli up against Otani, and he hits a solo home run. Francisco Cervelli gets his his revenge home run against his former team. Dansby Swanson going to ground out. Dickey flies out, and they pop out uh, to end the inning. Polanco up against Ari Dickey, and he'll line out. Harrison flies out. Joey Atani double the pitcher. And then a strikeout for Stewart. Brandon Phillips up. He singles. A strikeout. Kemp flies out. And Marquez strikes out. Marte strikes out. Bogarts hits a double. Betts flies out. And Thames grounds out. Adonis Garcia walks. Then a double by Cervelli. Cervelli getting his full revenge at game one. Two on, second and third, no outs. Dansby Swanson up. Swanson pops out. Dickey singles to bring in two runs, and the Braves are up 3-0 on the Pirates. A strikeout, and Phillips grounds out to end the inning. Bottom of the seventh, McCutcheon walks. Blanco flies out. Harrison walks. Two on, one out for the pitcher, and he singles to drive in a run. Shoei Atani is 3-for-3, three three. the pitcher coming up. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Atlanta, number 52, Jose Ramirez. And Stewart is up to face Jose Ramirez, and he's going to pop out two on, two out, Starling Marte up, and he's going to walk to load the bases. Xander Bogart's up, two outs, and he's going to pop out the end of the ending. Shoei Itani, still in the game, is going to face Freddie Freeman and then get taken out. Freeman's going to pop out. And Shoei Yatani is going to come out for Bastardo. No, wait. Hold on. I want a righty. Nicasio just pitched. I want to pitch Bearclaw or Batances. Okay, we're just going to... Now pitching for the Pirates, number 59, Antonio Bastardo. And he's going to give up a single to Matt Kemp to start his day out. Marcakis is going to strike out. Adonis Garcia strikes out to end the inning. Jose Ramirez versus now Mookie Betts. For the Braves, number 38, okay, so Vizcaino into the game to face Betts, and Betts is going to single and get caught stealing second. Thames singles. McCutcheon hit by pitch. Blanco flies out. Thames to third. Two outs, first and third, and Harrison gets a single to bring in a run. Bastardo is going to get pinch hit for... By Coco Chris. Been chilling for the Pirates. Number 10. Coco Chris. And Coco Crisp is going to ground out to end the inning. Top of the night, 3 2. Coco Chris is going to come out for Felipe Rivero. Pirates. Number 73. Felipe Rivero. Facing Francisco Cervelli, who's hitting 400 on the year, and he's going to walk him. Dansby Swanson pops out. Erodis Vizcano. Now pinch hitting Kurt Suzuki. Suzuki's going to fly out, and Ender Inciarte is going to double to bring in a run. Brandon Phillips up, and he strikes him out. Chris Stewart up against Kurt Suzuki. Um, I'm going to hit with Chris Stewart. Now pitching for the Braves, number 53. Jim Johnson. And Chris Stewart's going to double. I leave him in the game, and he doubles. Starling Marte up. He's going to double to bring him in. Oh, runner thrown out at home. Come on, Chris Stewart. 
Bogart's up, Marte on second, and he's going to walk. One out, first and second. Mookie Betts grounds into a double play, and the Braves beat the Pirates 4-2. Francisco Cervelli earns player of the game. Two for three, three runs, a home run, an RBI, a double, and a walk. Shohei Atani goes seven and a third. Strikes out five, ends with a 3.68 ERA, a 1.09 whip. Gets the loss, and R.A. Dickey gets the win. Jim Johnson gets the save. Dickey goes six and a third, gives up just one run. And now it's time. Fulton Evich versus Jose Urania. All right, full game. Alternates, that's good. worth this. Alrighty. Pirates, Braves, Fulton Nevich, Jose Urania. I should probably give someone a day off. They're looking kind of tired. Thames is looking real tired. So I think, yeah, I'm going to give someone a day off. I think... Um, Starling Marte is actually pretty tired, but I'm going to give Thames a day off. I don't really have anybody play first. Who's playing first if it's not Thames? Um, Bogarts looks fine. Bogarts is fine. So is Kutch. So is Polanco. It's just really Thames and Harrison. I think we'll give Josh Harrison the day off. We're facing Fulton Nevich, who is a righty. So let's give... Let's let Phil Gosselin get a start, because David Freeze is like a designated pinch hitter. He's going to pinch hit a lot. So Phil Gosselin will get to play uh, third base today. And I think, I think that's it. We'll just let Josh Harrison take the day off. Okay, here we go. Jose Urania versus Mul Mike Fultinevich. The knuckleball is thrown with little or no spin, which could produce sudden or unexpected movement as it approaches the plate. Causing problems for the hitter, catcher, and umpire. So, pitching matchup. We haven't made any starts, so there is the batting orders. Marte leads the team batting 412. And here we go from PNC Park. Braves, Pirates. P Braves come in at 3-1. and one, Pirates at 2-2. Two and two. If we could just go 2-1 and one in every series we played, I'd be very happy. Freddie Freeman... Mookie Betts. And here we go. Jose Urania made 12 starts last year, went 4 and 9 with a 6.13 ERA for the Marlins. Gave up 91 hits, had a whip of 1.43, 29 walks, 58 strikeouts in 83 and two thirds innings. So base ender in the NCR day first. Center fielder, number 11. Okay, and it, do, it doesn't say it. It says, like, everybody's... is It had Vizcano down, but it's not going to say Ender Inciarte. I'll plug my PS4 controller in. And Urania gets a ground ball for the first out. In the second spot, the second baseman. Brandon There's the lineup. The traditional will bat the pitcher last. Dansby Swanson. Surprised to see him batting down there a little bit, but they do have a decent lineup construction there. I do like it. Hey. Hoping for a big year from Jose Urania. Maybe like a 4 ERA. Oh, I missed it. Throw it to second, not first. Phil Gosselin blows a ground ball. First baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Phil Gosselin's first play of the year in the field, and he blows it. Oh, got him looking. There we go. That's how I want to get Freddie Freeman out. Looking. No swing. Batting 
and forth. Left fielder, Matt Kemp. There we go. Get ahead of the count on Matt Kemp. Let's throw him a slider up high. Oh, right on the outside corner. Throw a change up high. And it's going to be a two-run homer from Matt Kemp. Jose Urania leaves one for Matt Kemp, and he drives it deep to center field. Braves up two to nothing. His second homer of the season goes 414 feet, and the Braves are up two to nothing. Batting fifth, right fielder, Nick Markakis. Now Urania's got to get it back together and get Markakis out here to end the inning. And he'll get a fly ball to left field, and Polanco will get him out to end the inning. But Matt Kemp takes a 0-2 pitch from Jose Urania and goes deep to center field to give the Braves the early 2 nothing. Pirates will look to respond against Mike fulton who went 9-5 last year with a 4-3-1 ERA, 125 hits, 35 walks, 111 strikeouts, and 123rd and a 123 and a third inning pitched. Had a 1.3 whip. Leading off for the Pirates, center fielder, Starling Marte. So Marte, who has started the year out hot, is going to ground out to the third baseman. He has got two home runs already on this young season. Got enough data now so that we can have their this year's stats up at the bottom, so that's nice. Ooh, a weak ground ball. Is he going to get there? Is he going to get there? I think he got there. There we go. Dribbler, a little dribbler single for Bogarts. Second baseman, Mookie Betts. Oh no, it still got Betts last year, but at least it has him at the bottom. Five for eighteen this year for Mookie. Mm. Thought it was low. I should have been swinging at that. That was a good pitch to hit. That's high. Oh, just out, just on the corner. Good pitch. Ah, got me swinging. The knuckle curve. So, Eric Thames, who also had... First baseman, Eric Thames. Who's 8 for 17 this year with a homer. Swinging away. Trying maybe a little too hard to try to get that ru those runs back here. One ball, two strikes. It was a really late swing. I thought it. I th eh, that was just a bad swing. And I could try to justify that swing. It was just a bad one.
I'm not going to advance the runner. I think if I hit... I think at second base, I may... I don't know if Bogarts would score on a single. Anyway. That's low. Could have gotten walked if I didn't chase that horrible pitch outside. And I swung at it. Would have been a walk. Leading off with the Braves, third baseman number 13, Adonis Garcia. Throw a slider. There we go. Good slider, Urania. Well, let's throw a change up low and outside. Not exactly where I wanted it. Let's throw the two seam fastball. That's a foul. We'll throw the slider outside. I'm hoping Urania can give me five innings. I think that's that's the goal. Is Urania give me five? Francisco Cervelli. I'm not going to ask anything crazy out of Urania, just that he, he goes out there and gives me at least enough innings that he could potentially get the win. That guy caught that ball barehanded, hanging over the side. It's impressive. And he's going to get a fly out by Cervelli to Polanco. Two down in the top of the second. Batting eight. Shortstop. Oh, and I know a little bit, you know, when I do these live commentaries, especially the long ones, you get a little bit of scratchy with the voice. I think I'm going to have that fixed uh, coming up in a couple of episodes. It depends on how many I record tomorrow. Let's throw. Gosling gets this one and throws him out the end end the inning. But I should be getting a new mic uh, to record with. Um... So that shouldn't shouldn't get any of the scratchiness anymore. And Phil Gosselin will actually get his first at bat coming up this inning. Leading off for the Pirates, right fielder Andrew McCutcheon. Ninety-eight mile an hour fastball. That's outside. All right, Fulty, pitch me something down the middle. Was I a little bit early on that one? Very early. Ah, I swung it. I was very late on all those pitches. I was either very early or, like, really late. Batting six. Left fielder, Gregory Polanco. That's outside. I'm making my mind up to swing too late. I'm swinging like super late. There we go. Drive a single in the right field. Batting seventh, third baseman, Phil Gosselin. Volte stopped throwing the first base. A nice swing, just barely foul. That was a no doubter into the into the upper deck or into the upper stands. That's a ball. Fulty's thrown like three of those. They're just like horrendous. Like look at where that ball is. Is it gonna get down? It's gonna get down for a base hit. Two on one out. 
Two on one out for the pitcher. Oh, this is gonna be awful. Okay, Urania, we're swinging. We're not button. I don't like bunning. I will be lucky to put this into play. Okay, broken bat, pop out. Batting nine. Catcher. Chris Stewart. Alright, Chris Stewart, let's get it. Oh, is it gonna get down? It's gonna get down. Come home. There we go. Get a run on the board. Chris Stewart, the MVP of the season so far. Center fielder, Starling Marte. All right, Marte up first and second. Two outs. Can we get enough? Can we get the tying run on the board? Or Marte could drive in his third homer of the year in only the fifth game. That'd be great. Those are always hard for me to take. The ones that are like right on the outside of the strike zone because I just always feel like they're in the strike zone. Once that strike zone disappears, it expands for me. And that is going to get down. And it's going to be a tie game. Marte with an RBI single, and we're all tied up at two. A shortstop, number two, Sander Bogart. I will probably need a double to bring Stewart home. I'm going to leave... Yeah, leave, leave Bogarts at first, get Marte to third. I probably could have gotten him to second on the throw, but... The batter, second baseman, Mookie Alright, Mookie Betts, first and third, two outs. Can we add on to the lead? Give them, take a little bit of a lead with both guys. And Mookie, is it going to get that? Nope, it's going to be caught. It looked like there was a chance that maybe it got out, and there was a chance that maybe it would get down behind him, and that would have been huge. It would have been a triple, I think, for Mookie. If it would have gotten down. All right, Urania. For the Braves, Petra, Mike Fulton Evans. Let's get Fulty out here. Hey. Urania's got new life now. He's got the win. The count is one and two. This just feels like a game that's going to have a lot of runs. I might actually be able to get Ozuna his first save. But Urania gets Fulty swinging. Ender and Ciarte up now. The center fielder, Ender Inciarte. Throw a change up up in the zone. There we go. Up at the count, one, two. Let's try to get him swinging now, or looking. Let's just try to get a strikeout now. No. Am I going to get there? I'm going to get there, just barely. Ooh, good play by Polanco to get in there. 
Phillips who got the single and then Come on, get there, get there. There we go. Got to get stuff like that to help your in you out. And that ends the inning, or ends the side. Eric Thames now up with a strikeout Leading in the first. The first baseman, Eric Thames. Decided too late again. You gotta either commit to the swing or don't commit to it. Well, I didn't do a bad swing there. It was just a little outside, a little up out of where he was, the bat path. And he got me swinging on three pitches. Now batting, right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Now Kutch got close to getting there. If it would have dribbled a little bit farther forward, he would have had it. Gregory Polanco. Outside ball one to Polanco. At least if I made Fulton Nevich work a little bit here. He's got 37 pitches through three. Usually it's like 22. That's inside. Two and one. Low three and one. There we go. It's like it'll be a double. Hopefully, yeah, it's going to be a double. Safe. Double for Polanco with two outs. Up next for Pittsburgh. Third baseman, Phil Gosselin. Polanco's third double of the year. That must have been a good... I felt like that was a good hit. A good swing. It was very late, which I, I don't feel like it was very late, but I feel like I made good contact. Maybe if it would have been... Would have been a little bit more... Um, maybe, I think if I would have been on time, it was another homer for Goslin. Had some really good swings with them. Not there. That was a bad one. That's high. Even the count, two and two. Oh, got me looking. Thought it was low. Fulton Evich gets out of the inning after giving up a two out double to Polanco. Leading off for the Braves. First baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. All right, I'm only going to throw the pitches Urania's confident with against Freeman. No chase from Freeman. There we go, got the chase. Get Freeman swinging. The shift is on for Matt Kemp. There you go. Strike one to Matt Kemp. Strike two to Matt Kemp. Now I'm going to hit him with a slider low and away. That's not the position I wanted, but he looked at it. And an easy strikeout for Jose Urania. Now batting, right fielder. 
Nick Markakis. There we go, strike two. And let's see if we can strike out the side. Yes, we can! Jose Urania strikes out the side. Holding on to a slim lead of one. And he's up to bat leadoff to start the fourth. Pirates, catcher, number 62. All right, Urania, down 0-2. And striking out Soyan. All right, Chris Stewart, MVP. Chris Stewart. And he's going to ground out. Made it a little closer than I thought he would. At his awful speed. Starling Mark. Quickly down 0 and 1 with Marte. Ah! That pitch looked good. It looked like it was going to be a meatball, you know, about about a little bit higher than where one where the first pitch was. Ah! Got me looking. Leading off for Atlanta, third baseman number 13, Adonis Garcia. Come on, Ump, you gotta give me that. That was a good hit by Adonis Garcia. Let's hit him with the changeup. Up in the zone. There you go. One and two. There's the grab by Thames and the out. The batter, catcher, Francisco Cervelli. And they're getting some good t contact on here. It's just a matter of time until Urania gives up another homer. But it won't be here. Cervelli's going to fly out. Two down. One to go. Number seven, shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Hey. Oh, shit. I hit him. Bad pitch by me, but it brings up Volte, so that's fine. Mike bolton -Evich. Quickly 0 and 2. Let's throw him the slider down and away. And got him swinging. Good pitch by Jose Ureño after the hit by pitch. It was good that it was the pitcher after Swanson. Bogarts, Betts, and Thames up. Bogarts with two singles. The shortstop, Sander Bogarts. And this one's going to get down. And he can't beat out Fulton Evich to the bag. Now batting. Second baseman. Luki Outside ball one to Mookie. The Cardinals scored 24 runs against the Reds. 24. Was I a little late on that? Yeah, it was late. Ah, 
Ah, bad pit, bad swing from me. Just not seeing it with Mookie the way I was in my other franchise. I was killing it. And Mookie got to get a single. Much needed. I was like one for my last like eight or nine with Mookie. It felt like. Up next for the Pirates, first baseman Eric Tim. We need to figure out who else can play first base for me, because Tames wants a day off. I want to try to steal with Mookie, but I feel like I'm going to get caught. Oh, and Tames gets under one, and it's not going to get out of here. He's going to get in there. Mookie in with the steal. Ah, oh, Mookie's out this time. Am getting a little bit better with stealing. Center fielder number eleven. Enter MCRT. There's gonna be a lot of caught stealings early on while I try to practice and get used to stealing. Get back there, Kutch. Okay, that was bad. I thought I had more time. I was going to get behind it and then come in on it. The second baseman, number four, Brandon Phillips. Strike one. Urania pitching a really good game so far. He's only at 60 pitches. I'm not going to push Urania, though. Not a great pitcher, so I don't want to, like, ruin his confidence by leaving him in too long and getting him shelled. And that's exactly what I was talking about. It's Jose Urania is going to give up a solo shot, and it's now a tied game. Jose Urania giving up a solo shot to Brandon Phillips, 388 feet. And Matt Kemp and Brandon Phillips have two homers off of Jose Urania. I'm going to start warming up the bullpen. Now batting, first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Especially with Freddie Freeman up. This could turn bad quickly for Urania if Freddie Freeman can get on base. Or if he can get a hold of one. I, I don't really care. If Freddie Freeman singles, that's a win for me. I just don't want to give up a homer to Freddie Freeman. Which is almost what I did, because that pitch was bad and it could have ended up right over the plate. And, of course, I hit him. Okay, Urania, settle back in here. One and one. There we go. One and two. I'm not really worried about Freddie Freeman stealing on me. And a nice little pop. Come on, Bogarts, get under it. Get a nice little pop out there. Get two outs on the board. Can Jose Urania get out of the sixth? Nick Markakis. Inside, ball one. Come on up. There we go, strike one. Uh -huh. 
There we go. Strike two. And can I get strike three down the inning? Nope. I almost hit him. There we go. Step on the bag and end the inning. Ooh, so Urania gives up a show little shot to Brandon Phillips, but gets out of the inning with it still tied 3-3. Three to three. It'll be a decision come the seventh inning whether or not I want to put Bearclaw in or not, or if I'll leave Jose Urania. Right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. And Kutch is going to get one down the line. And he's going to go for second. He's going to go for the double, and he is going to get in there. Andrew McCutcheon with a leadoff double. The left fielder, number 25, Gregory Polanco. Right down the third base line, staying fair. And that will be it for Mike Fultonevich. Fulte pitched a decent game. Gave up a four hits with two, or gave up five hits with two outs to get three runs in for the Pirates. But other than that, done very well to keep us under control. Now pitching for the Braves, number 55, Josh Colmenter. Josh Colmenter into the game. 1-0 record on the year. Pitched one inning. I believe that wasn't against us. I don't, must have been in their first series. So McCutcheon's first double of the year brings up Gregory Polanco. Got to try to get Kutch in here. And Polanco swings away at the first pitch up in the zone. Not a good sign. <laughs> when I'm swinging away, it pitches way high up. Oh, that one's down. And that one is gone! Gregory Polanco with a two-run shot. Jose Urania's got the win again. A two-run shot to right field from uh, Gregory Polanco. Four hundred and eighteen feet, his first homer of the year, and all three of the original Pirates still left starting: McCutcheon, Polanco, and Marte in the outfield. All have a homer this year as Polanco crushes this one to right field. And that will bring up Phil Gosselin. Up next for Pittsburgh, third baseman, Phil Gosselin. And he is going to get it down for a single, as he is two for three on the day in his first action of the season. Now batting, pitcher, Jose Urena. I'm going to still hit, I'm going to send Urena back out there. He's going to get a chance to pitch the seventh. Pitch out for Goslin. And Jose Urania going to get one down. For a single, I'm going to leave Gosselin at second. I could have got him to third, I think, but I'm going to leave him at second. Jose Urania, the pitcher, gets a single. And now Chris Stewart comes out. One for two with a single, an RBI, and a run. Hitting 400 on the year. Has a semi-RBI chance here. I, I'm not sure if... I'll be able to get him home if he singles. But it's going to be a double play to end the inning. So can't tack any extra runs on. But, oh no, wait. No, we didn't have two outs. I thought we had two outs. But Marte is going to have a chance to drive Gosselin in here. Nice curveball low. Had some good timing on it. And that's going to be a routine pop-out from Starling Marte to end the inning. 
But Gregory Polanco with a two-run shot brings home Andrew McCutcheon, and the Pirates have the lead again 5-3. to three. Jose Urania to face Adonis Garcia. And Urania gets the first out of the inning. The batter, catcher, Francisco Cervelli. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Oh, this is not good. If he walks him, I'm taking him out. There we go. Strike one from Urania. Oh, is Marte going to get there? He will. Out number two for Jose Urania. The batter, number seven. Shortstop. Jose Urania trying to pitch out of the seventh inning here. Handed over to Dellen Betances and Jose Ozuna. Or Roberto Ozuna, not Jose Ozuna. Thinking of Jose Urania. But handed over to Betances and Ozuna. He is losing his control a little bit. I can feel it. But evens the count back up two and two. Time for the slider. And got him swinging. Dansby Swanson strikes out. And Jose Urania through seven innings. Leading off for the Pirates, the shortstop, Sander Bogart. And Bogart is not going to get it down for another base hit. So he'll throw him out at first. One down in the top, or the bottom of the seventh. Second baseman, Mookie Betts. Oh. That looked, oh my gosh, that looked weird to me. It looked like it was coming right down the middle, and it just broke. That one broke again. They just look like they're coming nice and right down the center for me, and they just aren't. Foul that one off. Foul that one off. A little bit late on these. A ball is coming here soon. But that is not it, and Mookie Betts is going to get on with a single. Up next for Pittsburgh, first baseman, Eric Tim. Well, that was an easy steal. I swung at it, which was the bad part, but it was an easy steal. Fouled off. That would have been huge if that could have stayed fair, because they're shifted over to this right side. And he's going to at least move Mookie to third. As Andrew McCutcheon will have a chance to bring him home. Up next for Pittsburgh. Right fielder, 
Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, gosh, that was an awful... Oh, man, that was an awful swing. Oh, my gosh. Gary Sanchez homered twice. Dribble or foul. Swinging away at bad pitches. Both of those way low in the zone. Way Not even in the zone, just way low. And McCutcheon going to ground out to the third baseman to end the inning. So Mookie Betts unable to get home. Picks up another stolen base for Mookie. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the pitcher, Cole Mentor, number 24, Kurt Suzuki. Oh, I warm. Okay. Well, I was warming up Bastardo, not Patanzas, so that's an issue. So we'll let Patanzas warm up a little bit. Number 46, Kyle Bearclaw. Strike one onto Suzuki. Strike two onto Suzuki. And gonna go for the strikeout. And got him look at Kirk Suzuki down on strikes. And that's going to bring in Dell and Batances. Ender Inciarte. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 68, Dellen Batances. I love Dell and Batances' stuff. The stuff that you have to pitch with him. It's all so good. Especially the slurve. His slurve is so good. And we're going to get him swinging. The second baseman, number four, Brandon Phillips. Nope. Oh, Dylan Batista. That was, that was so close. Let's get the... Let's drop a slurve in down here. And, oh, what a... Whew, I love these pitches that he throws. I don't know why I'm throwing this. I should just throw another slurve. Yep, I'm throwing another slurve because that was almost a, sh a solo shot. And got him swinging. Oh, I love pitching with Bell and Batances. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Atlanta. Number 51, Chaz Rowe. Gregory Polanco is 3-for-3 three three with a ho- He needs a triple for the cycle. Left fielder, Gregory Polanco. Polanco needs a triple for the cycle. I think we got close to- We needed a, we, we needed a triple for the cycle with someone else. That's way outside. And I actually contemplated swinging at that, which would have been awful. Oh, get get there, get there. Well, it's not going to be the triple we needed for the cycle, but it is a double for Gregory Polanco. Third baseman, Phil Gosselin. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hit with Dylan Batances if I want to keep him in the game. Depends on what Gosselin does here, whether or not I keep the Tances in. And Gosselin's gonna fly up. No, go back, go back, go back. I waited too long to tag. I want Dylan Batances to hit. Eh, no, I'll substitute Batances out. Bring in Ichiro. Actually, let's bring in Gift. Let's bring in Gift. Your attention, please. Bench heading for the Pirates, number 61.
All right, Gift. First at bat in the majors. I believe he's the first African-born um, baseball player to play in the majors. I believe that's what they said when he made his debut. Let's see if we can get Gift his first hit. Oh, is it going to get down? It is not going to get down. And there's the tag. And Polanco to third. So at least Gift advanced, advanced Polanco, but if I would have had the foresight to tag up. If I would have tagged up before, and that's going to be an out. So Polanco will not get home. If, if I would have had the foresight to tag, Gift would have gotten his first RBI. So we head to the top of the ninth. And it's time to put Roberto Ozuna right, into the game. Please. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 54, Roberto Ozuna. Leading off for Atlanta, first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Throw another slurve. Not a good pitch. Throw a change up. And Freddie Freeman is taken. He's not chasing. And Freddie Freeman is going to get this one down for a double. And Freddie Freeman starts off the top of the ninth. Against the closer with a leadoff double. And there we go. Strike one for Alberto Azuna. We go right back up top over here. Strike two. And now I'm going to throw a slurve. Low and away. And got him chasing. Matt Kemp out. Swinging. Now Nick Markakis. Up next for Atlanta. Right fielder, Nick Markakis. This is kind of big. Ozuna, Ozuna and Batances still haven't given up a run all year. Ozuna trying to keep pace with... Batances has pitched more innings, but... Ozuna trying to keep up with them, and it's going to get into... I'm going to throw a home just to hold free, but it's going to get into right field. And two on winning run up, up to the... Er, I guess it's not the winning run, but it would take the lead. Emilio Bonifacio into the game with the pinch run. Foul ball. And it's going to get down. And Emilio Bonifacio is going to get in there safe. And Roberto Ozuna struggling in the top of the night. We're going to get some guys. We're going to get Juan Nicasio and Bastardo warming up. Cervelli up. And Cervelli going to get the run home. Blown save for Roberto Ozuna. Now batting. Shortstop. Dansby Swanson. And Roberto Ozuna in the top of the ninth blows the save. His first save chance of the year and he blows it. Mookie Betts going to come in and get the out to end the inning. Or end, end the half.
the side. To end the side. There we go. Pirates are back up. 14 hits, only 5 runs. 6 hits for the Braves in 5 runs. Your attention, please. A defensive change for the Braves. Now playing right field, number 64, Emilio Bonifacio. Starling Marte up. Leading up the bottom of the ninth inning for the Pirates. Center fielder, Starling <sighs> Marte. Pirates will have to regroup after the blown save. And Marte, a single in the center field. And Marte leads off the bottom of the ninth with a single. Xander Bogart's up. I'm stealing second with Marte. I'm not even thinking about it. He's... Rowe, stop throwing over. Oh, and Bogarts! It's going to get Marte all the way to third. First and third, no outs. Second baseman, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, two for four on the day, batting 318 with a homer and two RBIs. I'm just going to try to fly out. Get a sack fly from Mookie. That's outside. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Mookie just gets walked here, if they just kind of pitch around the outside. Because I'd rather face Thames than Mookie. But no, they gave me one, and I wasn't ready for it. I was expecting it to be high. That's low. Two and one. That should get something to hit here soon. Pitch over for Bogarts. Come on, Mookie, walk us off. And Mookie bets! Sends one out of the park! Just looking for a sack fly, and Mookie goes yard! Walk off home run! We even get fireworks! Mookie bets with a walk-off homer after Roberto Ozuna blows the save. Ozuna's going to get the win as Mookie bets three-run homer walks it off. After struggling a little in the first four games of the season, Mookie bets comes out three for five with the walk-off home run, and Rowe just left it a little bit too much over the plate. as Mookie drove this one deep to center field. Look at that baseball glow in the midnight. And that is going to do it as Mookie Betts walks it off. Roberto Ozuna will blow Jose Urania's save and then go pick up the win. As Gregory Polanco actually goes four for four, with a double, a home, with two doubles, a home run, and a single. Needed that double to be a triple for the cycle. Still trying to get a cycle. I think I've had a chance in both of the games I've played. But Gregory Polanco, not the guy who walks it off with a three-run homer. No, Gregory Polanco gets player of the game. OPS of 3.25. <laughs> 17 hits is what it takes for the Pirates to get it done. I'm getting a lot of hits, but I feel like a lot of my hits are like with two outs, and I'll get like two on, and then I'll like ground out or fly out or something like that, or I'll get two on with one out, and I'll ground into a double play. I feel like I'm getting a lot of hits. I'm just not capitalizing as much as I would like off of them. So Polanco goes four for four. For the victorious Pirates, eight runs on 17 hits. 
No errors. We left eight men on base. For Atlanta, five runs, six hits. No errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. A reminder that extra tea service to the South Hills is available across the bridge at either the Wood Street or Gateway Center Station. 33X West Busway buses are also available with service to Carnegie, Bell, Crafton, and Sheridan stations. Also, return trips to Station Square on the Gateway Clipper fleet are available outside the stadium for one half hour after the final pitch. Okay, is it done now? Roberto Ozuna has now a 7.71 ERA. Dellen Betances and Baraclaw still have not given up a run. They both pick up their second holds of the year, and Ozuna picks up his first win of the year. Blowing Jose Urania's save. It annoys me that I blew that save with Ozuna. Because I wanted to pick up Urania's first win. But we still have a quick managed game. It'll be Marcus Stroman on the mound, I believe, against Jaime Garcia. Uh, and it might be time to give someone else a day off. May I might give Polanco a day off. Ooh, Corey Rasmus. But yes, it will be Marcus Stroman versus Jaime Garcia. Jaime Garcia holds a 9 ERA, but picked up the win in 5 innings pitch. Marcus Stroman also has a win. He only went 5 and a third and holds a 3.38 ERA. Be time to advance days. And Jaime Garcia, Marcus Stroman from PNC Park. Let's see, anybody need the day off? Starling Marte is tired. Marte and Thames. Can, is there... Do I, do I have anybody that can play first? Gosselin can't play first. Freeze can play first. Okay, so Fr David Freeze is going to give Eric Thames a day off. And Polano, where will bat Freeze? We'll bat Freeze 7th. Yeah, we'll bat Freeze 7th. Uh, and do I need to give Starling Marte the day off? I feel like I should give Polanco the day off after his big day. Actually, we'll keep him hot. We'll just give one person a day off at a time. Work. Our catcher is exhausted. But I don't have anybody else that can play catcher. None of these guys can play catcher. So, that's the issue. I don't have a catcher available, so Chris Stewart's just going to have to be exhausted. Okay. Ender and Ciarte versus Stroman. Stroman gets a fly out. Phillips strikes out. Freeman strikes out. Jaime Garcia versus Starling Marte. And Marte strikes out. Bogarts flies out. Mookie bets up. And Mookie bets solo home run. His third of the year. And Andrew McCutcheon's going to get hit by Jaime Garcia. Bring Polanco up. And Polanco grounds into a fielder's choice out. But Marcus Stroman's got the win. He's up against Matt Kemp, who flies out. Mark Kakis flies out, and Adonis Garcia strikes out. Jaime Garcia to face Josh Harrison, who walks. Harrison steals second base to bring up David Freeze. Freeze strikes out. Stroman lays down a sack bunt to get Harrison to third. And Chris Stewart singles to bring home Josh Harrison. The tired Chris Stewart, who in the next video I will try to find him as catcher to to give him a day off every once in a while. So Starling Marte against Jaime, and he will strike out. Cervelli against Stroman. Cervelli out. Swanson out. Jaime Garcia strikes out. And Stroman, nine up, nine down. Jaime Garcia against Bogarts, who grounds out. Betts grounds out. McCutcheon flies out to end the inning. Stroman sits down in Ciarte. Phillips gets the first hit of the game after Stroman had sat down ten straight. Freddie Freeman up, and Freeman's going to fly out. Kemp is going to ground out to end the inning. Polanco's going to pop out. Harrison singles, and he's stealing again, and he steals second base on Garcia again. David frees up, and he strikes out again. I think we had this exact scenario before. Stroman's going to fly out. Marcakis, Stroman. Stroman's ERA dropping fast, which is beautiful. As Adonis Garcia singles, Cervelli singles, 
fly out, and now it's Jaime Garcia around, out, what am I talking about, up. Jaime Garcia versus Stroman, and he gets him out to end the inning. Stroman, no earned runs yet. Jaime Garcia versus Chris Stewart. Stewart grounds out. Arte grounds out. Bogarts with the walk, and a ground out from Mookie Betts. Ender and Ciarte up. He pops out. Phillips singles. Freeman pops out, and Kemp grounds out to end the inning. Jaime Garcia versus McCutcheon. McCutcheon flies out. Polanco flies out. Harrison with a double frees up, and he walks. Jaime Garcia 2-1. Marcus Stroman up. Two outs, and Stroman strikes out. Barcakis, I didn't want to take Stroman out. He, he's been pitching really well. He might have a complete game. I might be able to get Ozuna a save here. Barcakis, Stroman, he strikes him out. Garcia, solo homer from Adonis Garcia. Cervelli strikes out, and Swanson walks. And shooting for the pitcher Garcia, number 24, Kurt Suzuki. Kurt Suzuki pinch hits for Jaime Garcia, and he pops out to end the inning. Chris Stewart versus Kurt Suzuki. Is it Kurt Suzuki? Who's pitching now? Braves, number 52, Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez into the game, and he strikes out Chris Stewart. Marte with a single, and he's going to steal second base. Bogart strikes out. Betts lines out to end the inning. Ender and Ciarte up against Strowman, and he strikes out. Brandon Phillips up. He singles three men. Finch running at first for the Braves. Number 64, Emilio Bonifacio. Bonifacio checks into the game to pinch run. Freeman singles. Kemp singles to top. Oh, Bonifacio thrown out at home. Huge play. Strowman two outs, top of the eighth. Two on to face Nick Markakis. And I'm going to pitch. And he grounds out. Stroman gets out of the eight. Jose Ramirez against McCutcheon. Now pitching for Atlanta. Number 51, Chaz Rowe. They actually brought Chaz Rowe back in after he gave up that three-run shot to Mookie yesterday. McCutcheon with a single. Polanco double play. Harrison Walk. And he will steal another base. Josh Harrison running when he gets on. A walk from Freeze again. To bring up Strowman, who is going to get pinched hit for, for the Ichiro. Number 51, Ichiro. Ichiro grounds out, and now Roberto Ozuna will get a chance to close this game out. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 54, Roberto Ozuna. Osuna gets a ground out, gets another ground out, and gets Dansby Swanson out to end the inning. Roberto Ozuna picks up save number one of the game. Jaime Garcia picks up the loss, but didn't pitch bad. Gave up just two runs, a solo shot in the first, and a RBI single in the second, I believe. Josh Harrison gets player of the game, going two for two with two walks, three stolen bases, and a double. He also scored a run. Marcus Stroman picks up the win, goes eight innings of one-run baseball, lowers his ERA up 2.03, strikes out up to 12 now in a whip of 1.13, and like I said, Roberto Ozuna gets his first save of the year. So, our next series coming up will be against the Cincinnati Reds, who are 0-6. First game is against Bronson Arroyo, who holds a 6.75 ERA, and it will be Julio Tehran versus Bronson Arroyo. In Game 2, it will be Joe Ross versus Scott Feldman. In Game 3, it will be Brandon Finnegan versus Shohei Otani. So, I will probably be playing Game 1, Julio Tehran against Bronson Arroyo. I think that's who I'm going to go with. Um, because then we got Ross and we got Otani against Finnegan, and I, I would like to pitch with Julio Tehran. Uh, then we have an off day, and then we head to Chicago to face Brett Anderson, Jake Arrieta, and to-be-determined pitcher. But we know we're going to face Jake Arrieta, a Jake Arrieta, who is already 0-2 on the year with a 4-5 ERA. Brett Anderson is 0-1 with a 9 ERA. So it should be interesting to see where we stand when we head to Chicago 
Uh, because after, because now we have three straight divisional games against the Reds, Cubs, and Cardinals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one where we'll be Julio Tehran versus Bronson Arroyo. Peace out, guys.